Psalm 135, verses 1 to 14. to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear 
and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. Here ends the first lesson. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit is rejoiced in my Savior. For he hath regarded the loneliness of his handmaiden. According to St. Luke, chapter 10, beginning at the 25th verse. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law, he replied, how do you read it? He answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind, and love your neighbour as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself. So he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbour? In reply, Jesus said, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he fell into the hand of robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road. 
And when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. And so too a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he travelled, came where the man was. And when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbour to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. Here ends the lesson. Mm -hmm. Thy will be done in earth as it 
creatures in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. And you, thy ministers, with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. O oh Lord, save thy people. And bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. Because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts. Within us, and take not thy holy spirit from us. Keep, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy church with thy perpetual mercy, and because the frailty of humankind without thee cannot but fall. Keep us ever by thy help from all things hurtful, and lead us to all things profitable to our salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, Give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen.
let us pray. Almighty God, as we begin this new university year, we ask for your blessing on all who study and work here. May those who are new be helped by those who are returning. May new challenges be accepted with eagerness, new risks taken with courage, and new insights received with openness. Above all, Lord, assist this place in all its learning to do its best and to grow in understanding of your world. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before the day has passed away, eternal God, to you we pray that you, with loving care, would keep our souls and bodies while we sleep. O oh, grant that we may rest in you, set free from anxious fears anew, that when the morning comes along, we may awake refreshed and strong. To him who rules both day and night, to his dear Son who brought his light, to him who fills our souls with grace, be praise from all in every place. Amen. 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 <coughs> Amen.